So it's the second video of my mental health and awareness weekend. Um, this time I'm going to talk about how you can actually get started with exercise when you're suffering from any mental health problems. Okay, so we know how difficult it is for anyone, even when you're not suffering from any mental health issues, how difficult it is to get motivated to exercise. Okay, if you are suffering with stress, depression, anxiety, anything along those lines, it can be doubly difficult because you are exhausted a lot of the time. As simple as that. So. What I'm going to look at here is that we need to try and find ways around this so you can get exercise and you can get those endorphins flowing through your body like I spoke about in video one and you can really kick start from there, get the ball rolling. So we know exercise is good for us, but we've got to try and get that motivation to really get going, okay? So to kick start um, this video, I'm going to say we need to set small goals. So do not set yourself massive targets to start with. So if, you, if you're completely new to exercise and you want to try and get rid of your any mental health problems or start to cure them then I'm gonna say set small targets so don't feel like you need to run a marathon don't feel like you need to go and swim the English Channel don't feel like you need to go and walk a mountain climb up a mountain um, just set yourself small. don't feel like you need to go to the gym for two hours not even that okay just set yourself small targets so you can go for a 10 minute walk go for a five minute swim go to the gym for 20 minutes okay anything's better than nothing it's gonna start releasing those um, endorphins throughout your brain throughout your body you're gonna to start to feel happy and then we can really start Start the ball rolling and kick out those negative thought patterns that depression and anxiety and stress um, are caused by okay so setting small targets is a key thing and then you can build upon there so the next day say you do a 10 minute walk the next day do a 15 the next day do a 20 minute walk just building up building up building up nothing massive the next thing i'm going to talk about is you need to exercise when your energy levels are at its highest so mental health is very very draining um obviously you're always thinking about things, negative things most of the time as well, and this is going to be very draining on your on your thoughts, and it's going to make you extremely tired. Your brain's going to get tired, which means your body's going to get tired as well. Um, so we need to kind of find that time of the day when your energy levels are at their highest. Now this is going to be completely different for everybody. Some people work out 5 a.m. in the morning, some people work out 10 p.m. at night. So it's going to take a bit of trial and error for yourself to find out when you feel most energetic. But when you do, go for that 10 minute walk, go for that 15 minute swim, go to the gym for 20 minutes, whatever you want to do exercise wise get out there when your energy levels are its highest and that's when you can get the most exercise done and release more endorphins and get those flowing through your body and then you'll feel happier and happier and like I said it's all about getting that ball rolling getting things started and we can really kick out those negative thought patterns so there are the two things I'm going to touch upon today um, hopefully this has helped if it's if you've seen this in someone if you've seen if you, well, if you know anyone with any mental health issues maybe pass this on to them and say listen you don't need to go go big just start small start some exercise patterns and then really build it up from there um, Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. My next video is going to be out tomorrow, so keep an eye out for that. And yeah, hopefully you enjoyed it. Share it if you want, and I'll see you soon.